What's cracking, guys? Welcome back to Beneath the Steel Sky. Alright, I'm back to where I was before. The game has been saved. Don't worry. I won't be going for the scanner again. Because, uh, that'll mean we die. Is this, uh, ooh, a cable. So, yeah, so I'll not go through the I scanner can't again. I reach the cable. Oh, Joey might be able to. Fancy doing some welding, Joey? You bet. I want some action. Who's the victim? You can't go using your welder on people. Oh yeah? Who says? Asimov's Laws of Robotics. That's fiction, Foster. It's just something some guy made up. It's sound moral sense. Anyway, what I had in mind was that cable. This sounds like a job for Captain Welder. Captain Welder? Seriously, Joey? You couldn't have come up with a better name than that? Okay. Um. I have no clue what that did, but we got some wire. Um. We might be able to pick it up later, I'm guessing. Possibly. When we get down to the lower levels. We'll keep an eye out for it. All right, let's go back into that power plant. I just want to check something in a second. Okay, the light socket. We might let the PSL be, I don't know. No, nothing with the light socket. Uh, wrench? No. ID card? No. Putty? Okay. Apparently, yes. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> we'll go through this again. I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll skip all the dialogue. Fancy G and There we go. Right, get well enjoy. We must have left the uh the switch on. Can you try welding the cable again? Sure. Just keep out of my way this time. Right, let's go back to the power station again for a second time. So we could put the putty in the in the light switch hole or the light bulb hole, whatever it was. Um, I should remember to turn off the power first. <laughs> Be a good idea. Otherwise, we'll die again. Which is that switch right there. Okay. Just in case, because you never know. Okay, that worked this time. Woo! Okay, is the elevator on now, or...? That should... Be it. Wait, no, is it switches down or is down on or down off? I don't know to be honest with you. I think up might be on. We'll see in a second. Okay, but Lamb isn't here anymore. So let's try this. There we go. Nice blinky blonky music. Ooh, and the cables there. Where did you put that? How in the fuck did you fit that in your coat, Foster? 
game mechanics. Uh, oh yeah, that was just the same thing, innit? Thank you for using Link! Stay vigilant! Alright, I'll save it here. Just in case, because you never know what man. Oh, sculpture. It's a bit dirty in here, right? If that's art, I must be missing something. Oh, wait for a few years, like maybe 10, 11, 13 years or whatever like that. If you think that is shit art, don't worry. Fucking Urinal won a Tate Art Gallery Award. A fucking Urinal. I think it... Alright, actually, I'm not sure if it won an award, but I know it was shown in the Tate Gallery. Fucking Urinal. And that was apparently art. What the fuck? A urinal as art. Seriously? <sighs> what in the hell are you doing? Hello. Welcome to Trevor's Travel Company. Where do you want to go? Can you get me to ground level? Sure, on one of my luxury air coach tours. Coach travel makes me sick. Me too. I prefer to keep my wheels on the ground. What kind of tours do you offer? Well, there's a wide choice. The Grand City Tour, the Economy City Tour, and the Mystery Tour. Uh... What's the difference between Grand and Economy? The Economy Tour is cheaper. Exactly the same itinerary but less prestigious. Okay. What's the mystery tour? If I told you, it wouldn't be a mystery. How do I know it's not a rip-off? That's the chance you have to take. Not with you, pal. Um... Grand tour, economy tour, mystery tour. Should we take the mystery tour? The mystery tour sounds fine. I'll reserve your ticket. Now, tell me. Where does it go? It doesn't go anywhere, physically. It's the latest in virtual reality. Oh, not that old turkey. It's almost completely like the real thing. If you say so, but I'm not convinced. Uh, I'll take the grand tour. Hmm, just one tiny point. You'll need a decent wardrobe. Well, what, what's wrong with these clothes? What's wrong with these clothes? They're fine, for a sheep farm. But what Oi. you need is something fashionable. Look who's talking. The Grand Tour is classy, see? You'll be mixing with people of elegance and money. All right, forget the Grand Tour. We'll take the economy Book tour. Book me on then. the economy tour. I'll make your reservation. You can pick up the ticket in a month or two. Can't I have the ticket now? Sorry, there's a waiting list. What? Why? Why would there be a waiting list for a tour? I mean, it doesn't look like you're getting much business. You are pretty much sat there with your legs on the table. Is there anything you'd swap for a ticket? I doubt if you've anything which interests me. Do you know a guy called Overman? Never heard of him. Go on. Give me a ticket. I told you, there's a waiting list. Mm, it fine. doesn't matter. I guess we'll it's have to wait. It's a painting of how things used to look. What a dump. I wouldn't want to go there. Hey, do you mind? Well, okay. I agree with you on that. <laughs> a big female robot with a welding torch. That's... no, that's not a welding... I guess they are from the future, so... What's in here? Anchor. Why does this music keep changing? 
Stay where you are. Hello. Hi. You look like a man who needs insurance, yeah? No. Can I interest you in this? A rogue robot policy. No. I've never heard of that before. It's a safeguard against the possibility of your robot turning on you. No, Joey would never do that. He'd be a smart ass, but I doubt he'd turn on Joey me. Joey would never do that. Aha! So you think. Surveys show that 42% of all domestic droid owners are worried about the risk of attack. Tell me more about the policy. All you have to do is sign a form. We'll do a probability estimate and give you the results next month. How come it takes so long? We have to strip the robot down and analyze each component. Now I'm definitely not interested. Tell you what, take time to consider it, yeah? No, how about fucking no? You are not touching Joey. The anchor is firmly attached to the statue. Is it? Oh. Could we knock it off? No. No. Okay. <sighs> so no anchor then. Okay. The music changes again. Why do you keep changing my fucking music levels? <clears throat> What's in here? Oh, okay. Now run the other side of the platform. <laughs> Hi, who are you? Can't you tell? I'm Mr. Cool. And you're encroaching on my personal space. Okay, I apologize about the music. I keep turning it down, but yet for some reason, it keeps turning itself up. Uh... Hmm... Give me two seconds. I'm gonna have a look and see if there's some way I can fix it because it's bugging the fuck out of me. Because the, the music is overbearing. It's it's too loud. Uh, just give me two seconds. See if I can find a way to fix it. It might be something in Scum's settings or Galaxy settings, whatever. Two seconds. All right. I think I fixed it. I should have done anyway. Hopefully. <laughs> right. So now we can carry on. Get out of the way. <sighs> well, How can well, I get <laughs> out of the city? Have you thought about defecation? Don't you mean defection? What? Isn't that what I said? I asked you about leaving the city. No. Not bodily processes. You're not making sense. And anyway, you can't leave the city. There's a restriction on travel. That sure is a smart coat. Yeah, cool, ain't it? It makes yours look like really shabby. Where I come from, it's the height of fashion. Oh, where would that be? The wild open spaces, where people know the true meaning of freedom. I'd sooner to die than dress like that. There are more important things than fashion. Only one I know of, and that's poise. And you've got the poise of a wildebeest on a Walter. Keep talking like that, and you'll be going over that railing. All right, let's go into Burns Biosurgery. Will it change? Hey, doesn't change anymore. Yay, thank God.
Ah, an illustrated really brochure. What's this? Hmm. Okay. So we've got a poster for a nose, muscles, pixelated boobs, and an ass. Those breasts Great. are never natural. They're probably not. Honestly, implants are fucking horrible. Welcome to Brooks Biosurgery. Oh. How may I help you? Like, I don't know about you guys. I mean, this is a weird topic, I know. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. I cannot stand fake tits. They are fucking horrible. They never look good. Like, why would you want boobs where one nipple points one way and the other nipple points the other way? It just looks horrible. The, and the problem, the thing is as well, is that women who have small breasts, like an A cup or a B cup or whatever, they get these implants, and then like, it just looks like someone set some deep dish bowls straight onto the chest, and it looks horrible and stupid. Give me natural all the way, all the time. I don't want fake breasts. <laughs> horrible things. Hmm, anyway. <laughs> and if you have fake breasts, that's your choice. This is my opinion. What services Whatever. do you provide? A complete range of fash op. From personal piercing to cosmetic transplants. Hey, where have you gone? I was talking to you. Do people have ops to be fashionable? Certainly. Can you think of a better reason? What about medical purposes? Our clients are rich enough not to need medical treatment. Would you let me in for a fashion op? Do you have an appointment? No, I don't. Too bad. You should have booked. I'm just looking. Thanks. Please take one of our brochures. It's as immovable as a stain on my conscience. Never mind. It's empty. It's sticky with some kind of gum. It's sticky. Hi. My name's Foster. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gallagher. What's going on in this city? Something wonderful. Tell me about it, please. I can't do that. Everything will become apparent when the time is right. What are you doing? Just watching and waiting. What for? I won't know until it happens. I guess not. Are you feeling all right? Never felt better. You look depressed. Don't worry about me. You've got enough to worry about. What do you mean? Who are you? It's too early to tell. I'm newborn. Too much in flux. I don't understand. Do you always talk in riddles? I don't think I do. 
Maybe it's your perception that's at fault. Maybe your interpretation of what I say differs from the intent of what I mean. Maybe. Can you direct me to the ground level? You're a social transcender. Going up in this world means going down. It's all a question of status. locked. It's a food dispenser. It must be empty. A poor fish will be hungry. I better not touch. It might bite. That fish must get very bored with its little world. There's nothing in there I want. I couldn't sleep there. Reich would haunt me. It doesn't work. The power must be off. It's a picture of hills covered with white stuff. It shows different kinds of fish. Reich must have been fond of them. It's not switched on. It doesn't work. The power must be off. Here, have a present. Definitely not. Here, have a present. Definitely not. Here, have a present. Definitely not. I can almost feel it growing. Hey, lamb. Hello, supervisor. Oh, it's you. I didn't expect to meet you here. How did you gain access to this level? I took the elevator, same as you. You're not following me, are you? I've got better things to do with my time. Is this where you live? Yes, 
This is Bellevue. Very... nice. Living here makes my job more bearable. But how I wish I could get away sometimes. What I need is a holiday. A break from all this managerial responsibility. Bet you're wondering who fixed the elevator. Whoever it was, he gets my thanks. Actually, it was me. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? You can't pull the wool over my eyes. I thought you'd be grateful. Gratitude is for folk who accept charity, lad. I've no time for sponges and scroungers. I can't open the door. This card doesn't work on this elevator. Nothing happened. Never mind. Give me an analysis, Joey. It's mostly copper. The traces of iron, carbon, and magnesium. Would it bear my weight? Oh yes, easily. Give me an analysis, Joey. Look what I found. We don't deal with lost property. Do you deal with lost property? Get out of here and stop wasting my time. Never mind. Come on, Joey. <laughs> 